Hi everyone and hello to all the pageant fans all over the world, the universe rather, and to my new subscribers and returning viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before I start with today's episode, allow me to say thank you so much to Sam Rusas. Sam Rusas is actually one of the pageant creators as well here in YouTube. And I just have to say thank you to him because he gave me that encouragement and motivation to continue what I'm doing here in YouTube. Because dumating yung time na parang napagod na ako, na parang gusto ko yung mag-rest na lang muna ako. I'm tired of doing um, videos, especially wala naman ako makukover since walang Binibili Pilipinas, walang Mr. Universe Philippines. So parang sabi ko, um, maybe it's time for me to rest muna and just continue na lang kapag may uh, pageant season is on na ulit. But you know, Sam told me to still continue doing videos and to be more creative. And to everyone who's always been, you know, been there ever since from the start. At patuloy na sumusubaybay sa akin. Sumusubaybay sa akin ngayon. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. And if you're watching this episode right now and you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Help me to grow this channel and to reach a milestone in YouTube simply by clicking the subscribe button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So for today's Real Talk episode, it's all about Sigrid Flores, a former Binibining Pilipinas alumna who competed in 2018 and in 2019 and now competing in Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Let's start this Real Talk episode now. Let's talk about her beauty. As you can see in these photos, I have to say that I'm not really a fan of Salamat Doc type of beauty. But for the sake of this category, I have to disregard that, you know, that factor. And based on the photos that I'm showing with you guys right now, I have to say that the type of beauty na meron si Sigrid is somehow captivating, seductive, mesmerizing. So for the beauty category, it's a yes for me. Next is the sexy body physique category. It's pretty obvious that she has a sexy body and it's very evident naman in these photos that I'm showing with you guys right now. So in this category, body physique, it's a yes for me. Next is her passerella. Let's watch this video. Sigrid Grace Flores City. Sigrid Grace Flores has lived a missionary life because she likes how she is able to inspire people that they can overcome their problems. Redivini from Iloilo City, Sigrid Grace Flores. Based on this video from her past competition, I have to say that her passerella is just okay for me. So it's a yes for me. Next category, communication skills. Let's watch this video. Kung tatanungin umano siya kung ano ang masasabi niya sa paghihirap na nararanasan sa Pilipinas, ito ang kanyang sagot. Actually, it's something that is very close to my heart because my advocacy is philanthropic revolution. Yes, um, I've been working a lot with um, different underprivileged areas here in the Philippines, sa, um, sa Iloilo, sa Tondo, also sa Valenzuela, sa Samsung Valenzuela and Rizal, sa remote community sa Nueva Vizcaya, and it is very close to my heart. Um, I've been um, putting up different activities, bringing sponsors to them, but now, actually, my heart is really to provide them um, yung mga livelihood so that they can also uh, stand up on their own uh, feet. Yeah, I used to be a worship leader at church, and it's something that I'm very passionate about. If you guys don't know, I'm a missionary, and I'm very passionate about Jesus, and everything that I do actually has rooted from that love and from that passion. And I, I feel like um, I, I've been doing charity and philanthropy for the longest time because I know that you don't just tell people that God loves you. You have to translate that into action so that they will feel that really God loves them through your actions, right? Anyways. Mananalo ka pag binigyan mo sa akin ni Skin ni Kagura. Hindi ko naiintindihan, Skin ni Kagura. 
Ayan. Uh, mag- ah, ito pala si Marky Gira yung nagsabi ng baglang bagla. Ay, Marky, love you. <laughs> oh, ito, I have a question from Arnel. Why mental health is as important as physical health? You know, mental health is as important because um, you have to be healthy on the inside too. And if you're not healthy on the inside, you wouldn't be able to function optimally. And you know what? I feel like as uh, my personal opinion is that we are more of what's on the inside than what's on the outside. So I I really urge you guys to take care of your mental health, to take care of your spirituality, to be to keep that peace and you know rest in your heads because if you are okay on the inside, it will manifest physically. And if you're not okay on the inside, it will also manifest physically. You get sick physically. So it's important to take care of your mental health as much as we take care of the physical health. Ayun. I, I have a question here. Arvin Echenza, are you ready not to win the crown? Honestly, this, this is my third time. And uh, I, I, I cannot deny that it hurts a lot to not win. It does. It does hurt. But you know what? What I learned in this journey is that it's not about winning anymore. It's about being able to be a better version of yourself. Being able to use that platform when you are in the time being that you, you, you have it. And you know what? One of the best thing maybe right now that I'm experiencing is that and the, the, I feel like it's actually a good decision to join Miss Universe for such a time as this because I was able to have a platform when I need it the most especially that my heart is for the service for giving people um, that, that which I can give like for example my voice and um, if you don't know I've been doing charity for the longest time well it's pretty obvious that Miss Catanduanes can actually be a good speaker well the fact that she can answer a question immediately with confidence I don't have any problem with that so I'm giving a yes in this category. Next category, my favorite, overall styling. So I'm showing you guys some pictures right now. I have to say that she knows how to make pasabog. Her makeup is always on flick, plus her outfits. Actually, um, I checked her Instagram uh, account and the had ng photos gusto ko. I so love her photos. So in this category, it's a yes for me. My final insight about Sigrid Flores representing Catanduanes in Miss Universe Philippines 2020. I have to be honest with you guys that there's a lot of girls who are very promising, a strong contender in this competition, and we also have some contestants or candidates who are just there to add spice in the competition, and that is Sigrid Grace Flores. What I like about Miss Catanduanes is that she has her own way on how she can stand out in this competition, but that cannot actually help her to win the crown of Miss Universe Philippines 2020. But let's say that Sigrid Flores decided to join Binibining Pilipinas on her third attempt. I guess that she has a higher chance in winning any crowns in Binibining Pilipinas compared to Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Now, if you will ask me if I'm placing Sigrid Flores in my semi-finalist, maybe not because there is a lot of promising and strong con contender compared to her. As what I'm saying a while ago, we have um, candidates who are very promising, strong contender, and some candidates who was just there to add some spice in the competition. Overall styling, I love it. She's really good when it comes to that. Alam niya kung paano siya umaura and all that, but that's not enough because we always have to look for the deserving one. Almost complete package when it comes to, you know, choosing the winner. I'm not sure if you guys will agree in this um, episode, but feel free to comment down below what you think about this pageant. Real Talk episode for Sigrid Flores representing Catanduanes in Miss Universe Philippines 2020. I have to say thank you so much to everyone who supported this Real Talk episode. I'm hearing a lot of good comments than the bad comments but it's okay as long as i'm doing my job with all honesty and i'm not being biased with the candidates i'm okay so you're free to comment down below what you think about this episode let's treat each other with respect i love you all till next time